What are the hardest foods for you to give up? Even though you know they're not helping you, they're not helping you with health, they're not helping you with weight, they're not helping you with your keeping your stress levels down. What are the foods that you really, really struggle with giving up? Okay, maybe it's because, uh, you know, you crave these foods. Or maybe it's because you think that subconsciously you might have an addiction to these foods. Or maybe it's just because you have always had these foods and you've never been able to get off them, even though you're, you want to and you know that they're not helping you. Have you had this problem? I definitely have. I definitely have with several different foods. So list the ones that you have trouble with down below. Okay, I'm just curious to see what those foods are that everyone else has trouble with. Maybe you're the same as me. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Belinda and I'm very passionate about helping people get their sleep back, their energy back, recover from autoimmune problems and thyroid issues and so, so much more. And one thing that we all struggle with and I know that I'm not alone on this one, is finding the right diet or lifestyle to help us get our health goals, to help us get our weight loss goals, to help us just generally feel better and amazing. And when I switched to low carb diets, I really, really struggled for a while. I'm talking like, I still struggle. Like, I'll be honest with you, I still struggle. And my big food that I really, really struggle with is bread. And my body did not like bread. My body does not like eating bread. I like eating bread. Because like, what used to happen is this happened a couple of times when I was pregnant. I would try to eat this nice, soft bit of bread, you know, it was nice and soft in the middle, but still crunchy on the outside. And sometimes it had sesame seeds on top of it, and I would smother butter on it, and I would love it, love to eat it. But you know what would happen? It would get stuck in my throat. And my body would literally say, no, you are not swallowing this, you are not eating this. And I would literally gag on this bread, even though I loved the smell of it, it was freshly made and crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside, and I just love bread. But my body kept saying, no, you are not eating this bread. And I would try and force myself to eat bread. I really would. And it wasn't until one of my friends said, why are you doing this? Your body says, you know, you shouldn't be eating bread, so maybe just stop eating bread. And I'm like, but I love bread. I don't want to give bread up, you know, and have you been there? You know, what, what is your one thing that you really struggle with giving up? Okay, chocolate is another big one for me. Okay, I love chocolate. But what I've done instead of giving up is actually switched these things out and found uh, versions of these that are acceptable. They're not going to be the same. They're really not going to be the same. And sometimes I do have bread and then remind myself how my body doesn't like it, okay? So it can be really hard, but when we do make a switch, you switch it, you don't ditch it, okay? I'm thinking about making a uh, recipe book called Switch It, Don't Ditch It, or maybe doing a program called Switch It, Don't Ditch It, <clears throat> but you actually find something else that's going to satisfy your craving, okay? And swap it out for one that's actually going to benefit you in the long run, okay? Uh, the things that most of my people who go in my programs or people who I have one-on-one uh, -on -one client calls with that they really struggle with are things like bread, pasta, okay, rice, chips. A lot of people seem to, you know, get the munchies at nighttime when they sit down to watch TV, and I have to admit I have been there myself. Have you? Okay, salty foods at night time. There is actually a reason behind that. And if you have got that problem, then just reach out and let me know because there is actually a very good reason why we crave salty foods at night time and why we crave sugary foods at night time. So if you're curious about that one, just put a comment down below and I will, uh, I'll answer that for you. But uh, the other things are like sweet desserts, uh, popcorn, um, 
what else? You make a list. Let me know your list down below, okay? Because I'm curious to see if it's just me or whether other people have the same uh, things that they have trouble giving up, okay? Anyway, you have an awesome day. And if you're watching live, let us know live. Christy's watching live. And if you're catching this on the replay, then let us know replay. And just remember, there's no need to ditch it just kind of switch it out for something that's going to be a little bit more acceptable and so that you don't feel like you're depriving yourself, okay? Because sometimes when we go through these uh, phases and we want to give up something, it can be really, really hard mentally as well as physically. So it's much easier if we find a recipe or a um, substitute for the thing that we're trying to uh, switch out uh, that's something that's a little bit healthier, okay? And will support our cravings so that we don't have to feel deprived. Anyway, have an awesome day and I will see you at this time tomorrow.